are. Hey everybody, welcome to a video about adjusting your INI files in Ascento Corsa. I went online, I saw a post a guy put on saying that he thought it was nigh under stomping baby bunny rabbits for doing such a hideous thing as to take some a work that masterful, brilliant people took thousands of hours and probably years to create so some wild man can monkey with it and have one hell of a good time too. Well, the whole, he didn't think so, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. What we're gonna do today is, is uh, adjust the spring stiffness of a Mustang GT390 1967. Reason being, it bottoms out. Now I didn't design the car, but we need to fix it to make it drivable. I also put tires on it and a transmission and we'll do other things to it, including putting two turbos on it out of a Glickenhaus. Here's the thing. Why would you even want to do this? Well, in every single racing game I've ever played, from the original Xbox through Forza or whatever, or even uh, Gran Turismo, everybody is biased against American muscle cars. They can make them look beautiful, but the handling sucks. Usually the sounds suck too. Of course, what good is a good sounding car if you can't keep the son of a gun on the track? So I've been waiting, as you can see, a long white beard waiting, 61 years old, to find a game that actually doesn't overdo the American cars, but doesn't spin them in such a way that they're trash. I mean, dude, in 1965, I was 10 years old. So I know what real muscle cars are. I know, I watched, a, I swear to God, I saw a Yanko Camaro pull a wheelie in Syracuse, New York when I was a kid, drag racing a guy in a um, Super B. I ain't bullshitting you, saw it. Took him off the ground that high. Almost deafened me the sound of it. Make a long story short, let's get at it and have some fun. Okay, here we are at this portion of the game I promised you. We're going to go into the INI files of this rascal, and we're going to tighten that spring up a little bit. We have to, or the son of a bitch is worthless. It spit both tires in a race the other day, and it cost me the whole race. No big deal, but hey, it's a pain in the ass. So this is what you do. First, you save everything you're going to do before you monkey with it, or else you're probably uh, waiting for disaster. One false move, and the whole thing's a pile of garbage. 
Okay, as you saw, I saved that uh, file that we're going to work on. So it's pristine and just the way that the brilliant people designed it. Okay, now we're searching for the stiffness of the spring. When we find that rascal, we're going to tighten it up just a cube. Not a whole bunch, because that'll screw it up for sure. After that, I hope this... Uh... See, I'm looking at this screen, man, as this is happening, trying to put the words on after the fact. Oh my god, that ain't the way to do it, but hey, it'll get the job done. Uh, and I can't see it at full screen either, so I'm staring like a weasel trying to uh, thread a needle. Anyway, when we finally do find the son of a gun, we'll be squared away. Then we're going to slap a turbo on the son of a bit, a rascal, just like this. See, we took it from a Glickenhaus double twin turbo. Now we're going to put it in the engine INI of the original Mustang. Which, of course, uh, you're supposed to save the bugger, but as you're watching me, bold face, I didn't do jack shit. And if I fuck it or rascal it up, uh, it's, it's history. Anyway, we're going to uh, go to this file. We're going to go to the bottom where it says damage. Well, the Glickenhaus already has that information, so putting it on twice is going to render it screwed. Let's check it out.